Baltimore, west of Dover, Delaware. Sneaking up between the two of them. On another back country road, but the nice thing about that is we don't have to go through DC and all of that. We're going to uh, New Jersey. We already been to Virginia. Yep, that was yesterday. So still raining. Last three days, yeah. Everywhere, all over the world, it seems like. Okay, yeah, rain and construction. What a beautiful combination that is. So yesterday we talked about whether or not photos are obsolete. I think they are. Jake doesn't think so. Talked with another YouTuber also about PO boxes. So maybe one day if we get something in our PO box from somebody, we'll we'll do mail time. It'll be fun. We can't even do a live feed without more than or, or and get more than like three or four people. I think the most people we've had on our live feed was four people. We get plenty of views afterwards, though. People watch them. But, uh, it's hard to say whether we should do a video every day or not. Because that's how we started our vlog and seemed to go okay, but we, we get maybe 30 or 40 views at the most on a video. On, on a lot of the videos that we do anyway. And, uh, it seems weird, but they say that when you do so many videos, people watch your most recent video, and they don't watch your other ones, and so the thought is, if you only upload once or twice a week, uploading once a week, yeah, if you only upload once or twice a week, then people watch your video, more people watch your videos, well, I don't care about that, well, if they went and had me on Facebook, they would love it. Since I go Facebook Live all the time. Yeah, but you go to Facebook Live, you should do it from the Kip and Jake Live. You can't do it from the Kip and Jake Live. It's a fan page. Yes, you can. We've done it. On the way home in the car. We did live on Facebook. And we thought about doing that. Um, doing YouTube Live only on Saturdays. And then on Wednesdays do Facebook Live for a little bit. But we really didn't get much answers, but we also didn't have many people back then. And so doing the live videos, we, we don't really know if there's a big call for it. Nobody's really saying that they want to see it. And nobody really showing up. So I think this is better for now. We'll just do regular videos of where we're going, what we're doing, and talk about whatever. Really foggy this morning. It's like subtle Sutterville or something is where we're actually at. But we're on 301. See all the spring colors here. The trees are got all their new growth on it. That, that beautiful spring color. Not gonna get to see a sunrise this morning. I don't think we're going to ever see a sunrise. <laughs> oh, we'll get to see a sunrise. There's a beautiful white tree back there. With like, the tree wasn't white, but the flowers on it was white. It was beautiful. This is our office this morning. What kind of view do you have from your office? There's no other job as great as this. I, I, I really love traveling the country and seeing all the stuff. Every day, you might travel some of the same roads. Every day we see something that we didn't see before. I wish and, we could uh, see the chips over there. There's another one of the white trees. I missed it. But whenever uh, you travel around, I mean, that's part of it. You're trying to find the next adventure. It's only 55 on this road, which is good too. You don't have to go as fast and see even more. It's one thing as a driver. When you first get the job, you figure, oh, I'm going to travel the country and 
know, see everything, but it's kind of true, yes and no. You basically see everything that you can see from the interstate, unless you uh, do a little planning ahead and find a place that you can stop and get out and explore. <clears throat> out west is good for that. You can get out some of those rest areas and there's some really cool stuff to see out there. And there's a Panda Express. What kind of bullshit is that? Panda Express is not open yet. I know. Whenever we were <laughs> at home, me we brought a rice cooker out with us. And <coughs> we went shopping at Walmart and got all the stuff to make some soup and it's like some broccoli soup that he wants to make. Yeah, gotta get we plugged in the rice cooker, pushed the power button, nothing. So here on 301, we got lucky, found a Walmart. We're gonna have to go get us a new rice cooker, crock pot type of thing, so we can make some soup. So you said they had the what? The trifecta? They have the trifecta, which what is, is hair cuttery to get my hair cut, <laughs> Chipotle, because I like Chipotle, and the best of the best, Panda Express. Panda Express. You said there was what, Wendy's or something? Wendy's is right here. Yeah, that Are was you? actually the trifecta. I said hair cuttery because I thought a about hair cutter in the back at least. I don't know why I thought about hair cuttery, but yeah. It's a Batman body pillow. <laughs> I don't care. I just want a body pillow. I would love some. You could get the frozen one. I can get right Ninja there. Turtles. Ninja Turtles. What's the other? So, oh, they got, um, what do they call those? The Avengers. The Avengers. I was just thinking of superheroes. Oh, and then they got Paw Patrol down on the bottom. You can barely see it. I mean, I'm gonna pull it out so you can see. Paw Patrol, man. Yeah, I love Paw Patrol. <laughs> well, this one here is does it all. Which That's one? like the one we just had almost. Which one? This one? Yeah. Read that price. Oh man, that's ninety nine dollars. Because it's a it's a cooker. It's an eight in one cooker. But does it do? It doesn't say it does rice though. It doesn't say rice, it just says stew. Oh no, it does it say rice, rice cooker, cooker, yeah. Huh. And how much is that one? No, this, it's a pressure cooker. That's what it is, that's a pressure cooker. Rice cooker, rice cooker, rice cooker. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is kind of maybe like what we had. Which one? Like this one. This is like what we had right here. Exactly. It's just a different color. Yes, this says... White rice, brown rice, beans, slow cooked poultry soup. They got a soup button. Oh, that's a good, that's a good size too. Should we get that one? It's it says fifty dollars. I gotta buy it fifty bucks. Well, this one's thirty six. I think that would be this more versatile. This one's thirty nine dollars. What does that one do? Steam, saute, then simmer. Slow cook, quick rice, white rice, brown rice. So that one says turbo rice. It says seventy percent faster. Let's just get that one. I think that'll be the perfect where's one. where's the turbo? Yeah, right. uh, that's the one we're going to grab. It says check e it out later. It says easy pressure release. Maybe we'll do a video about it. So in the past, we'd normally get a crock pot for the truck. And then we would also have a rice cooker. But this new one that we got... It's a rice pot. It does both. Crock pot and rice cooker. They gave us like a spatula and a spoon, they said. We just bought a whole set of wooden spoons. I like wooden spoons because I'm not a real big fan of plastic anyway, because, I mean, really? There's been a lot of controversy about plastic and, and heating and stuff like that, right? And so metal, when you cook with it, can get hot and burn you, especially if you forget and leave it sitting in or around the pan. No, you can also get electrocuted as I found out whenever you see me. Yeah, and so they gave us these here. They're like, they call this one a spatula. It just looks like a really flat spoon. Yeah, it's and then this it's one's the some sort of ladle looking thing. I guess it's a soup ladle. This is a 600 watts, I think it said. It should have came with a rice cup too. Yep, 600 watts. It's probably inside, uh, but the, the lid twists off because it's a uh, pressure cooker type lid. You can see it's the Real heavy duty. I mean, this is made nice. It's not, it's not cheap. But this is a rice cup. I'll read the directions on exactly how to use this. Because a lot of these rice cups that come 
with the rice cookers aren't an actual cup. It just has to do with the lines on the inside of the pot. There's lines and you fill the pot with the water to a certain line and then you put the rice in the cup to match the same line in the cup. This is our next question. Did they give us a steamer tray? Um, no steamer tray. But yeah, our old one was a steamer as well. But we might be able to get, they have those those steamer things that they that kind of like fold up. Yeah, not very big, but there's just the two of us. So we don't need to be making big portions anyway because our refrigeration isn't all that great. I think it's enough of that. I'm sure you guys are bored with it. So I'm going through the paperwork. Chuck and Angie would be proud. Look at this. We got a dollar off of rice. Check out this awesome bridge, man. We're gonna go over. I'm not sure what this river is. Summit, the Summit River. Check out that bridge. Summit River. Right. Another bridge over there, by the river. She really can't. Can't see that other bridge too well, but it's there. Still a gloomy morning. I'm making bagels right now. We got our toaster here, ready to go. Got my butter. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got our bagel. Oh yeah, Dunkin' Donuts, coming for you. Now this is a fancy Dunkin' Donuts. Look at these doors. They open like magic. Hi everybody, Kip's now driving, right Kip? Sorry if it's a little bumpy, it's bumpy. Um, well, we are stacked with loads. We are on our way right now to Hebron, Kentucky to deliver a load. Then we are up to Indiana to go up to Wisconsin. And then Wisconsin to my least favorite place, California. Woo, California! San Diego, right down by the border. Hopefully we'll get some like good Mexican food. <laughs> I love their taco trucks. <coughs> Maybe I'll make some rice. But right now I'm making broccoli and cheese soup. It smells and awesome. It actually stopped raining. Yeah, finally. You can see the sky now. Here comes in places. The sun. It's still a little cloudy, but we can see the clouds. Or uh, we can see a little bit of blue sky. Look at this antenna. What is that crazy thing? Um, the radio of the siblings of Yahweh. Wow, that is just crazy looking. <laughs> it almost looks like a big old spider web. Nope, not here in America. Not sure what they're doing there, but that was pretty crazy. Anyway. Oh, I thought I'd see some cows. It is beautiful here now. The rain is quick. Loving it. Yeah, until we go out low west where it's raining even more. Hopefully, when we're out there in Colorado, it'll be during the daytime when we go through Glenwood Canyon. That's a beautiful place to film. We'll maybe do some uh, uh, filming out the window. What do you call it? A time lapse with some nice music. I find some really good music. And... Um, might even fly the drone while we're out there somewhere. We'll find one of those scenic overlooks or something to do some flying of the drone. Look how close these trucks are together. Good lord. This guy's acting it. like a complete no, idiot. Yeah. But we're also going through my favorite place when we go to California. In and Out Burger? Las Vegas. Oh yeah, Las Vegas. Maybe if we go through Las Vegas at night. That's cooler pictures. Maybe we'll just stop at our drop yard. What's really awesome Or we can go get in and out burger. When you're in the desert and it's pitch black and you come up over the hill and see the lights of Las Vegas, that's one of the most beautiful sights that you can 
Cincy, man. It really is. It's awesome. Yeah, I still think we should stop at a truck stop. Well, we'll have to see how it goes and what kind of time we're making, you know? If traffic's been nice to us, we might be able to stop. Just never know. Stop at Uber. We'll just let the adventure plan itself. We should stop in Prim and go ride that roller coaster. I've never seen it running, but we could do that. If it's running, we might stop and ride the roller coaster. We could film it with the GoPro. Know, that would train. be cool. So anyway, look forward to the next couple of days with you. Make every day an adventure and dream big. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye.